I said, uh, it it won't be a nice thing to come to pass. No, it's not sure. something I look forward to at all. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Kevin, uh, on on April twelfth, UFO pictures will be obsolete. What do you mean? Uh, Photoshop is coming out with a feature called Content Aware in its uh, program, and uh, it reduces what takes usually about an hour, an hour and a half, to roughly about four seconds. You have to check out that video that they have online. It's, it's amazing. Okay, but wh why does that make UFO pictures obsolete? Because uh, if, say, you have a, uh, let's say that you have a friend that creates a UFO, a really realistic UFO out of metal or whatever material, and you hang it up in the air by a thread, a rope, a string, put it on. Oh, you're talking. Yeah, you're talking about hoaxed pictures. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, with the new version of Photoshop coming out on April 12th, you can seamlessly render the background so that it looks like nothing is supporting or hanging that 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 object. I looked at it myself, and, and like I said, it would take me over an hour to create what this new version of Photoshop can do in roughly four seconds. It's it's a world first. Even the Photoshoppers themselves can't even believe their own eyes. Well, uh, that that is, of course, going to make it difficult uh, for UFO investigations. However, um, I guess we're going to have to start relying upon uh, the preponderance of evidence in testimonies. And some people say, well, that's not very reliable. Nonsense. The entire criminal justice system of the entire planet re re relies upon witness testimonies. I and agree. I, I think uh, testimony is, is the one thing that I really turn towards now these days. And uh, anyways, thank you, and I'll, I'll continue listening offline. All right. Thanks for the call. Thank you, Kevin. All right, 623-444-5889 or toll-free, 888-223-4599. Let's go to a flash message that we have from Australia. Uh, no, we did that one. Let's see what have we got here. Uh, Leonardo in Puerto Rico. And uh, Leonardo says, Hi, Kevin. Good show tonight, like always. Um, I hear you great on Indy 104. Kevin, please ask your guest if he is part of the 29 ancianos in the book of Revelation. I'm not sure what that is, so I don't know. But are you one of the 29 ancianos? Well, that's that's a, a fanciful legend, and uh, I, I think what he's talking about is what Elizabeth Clare Prophet was into. And... Uh, uh, if I am, it's purely euphemistic. Okay. All right, uh, to the telephone and caller. You're live on the Kevin Smith Show. Your first name and from where are you calling? Hi, Kevin. Hi, uh, James. It's uh, John from Vancouver Island. Hello, John. Hello, John. Hi, Hi James. Um, I just, uh, there's lots of questions I could ask, but um, I'm really interested um, in um, evolution so I'm going to ask you the question um, how does evolution actually work and, and how are new species um, created and introduced uh, on the planet earth as represented by the fossil record and, and I can just take that offline okay thanks for the call well you you have a problem with the fossil record because when a, a paleontologist, anthropologist, archaeologist, geologist finds anything that doesn't fit or what they either call the, the uh, geological record or the archaeological record or anthropological or paleontolo paleontological, they just get rid of it. So the fossil record then is telling us something uh, that, uh, or as it's presented to us, it's telling us something that's skewed. Would that be correct? I didn't hear the last part of that. 
I said uh, the uh, the fossil record as it's being presented to us is telling us something that's skewed. It's not accurate. Well, we just don't have the evidence. Uh, I acquired uh, an extremely incredible anomaly collection just because wherever I would live, whether it was in Ohio or Texas or California, wherever I was, I would go to local museums and I would ask them to go in their back room and I would give something to them and trade them out of all the anomalous finds that farmers were bringing to them out of their fields and whatever, and I had incredible things. None of these things were being exhibited. None of these things were being worked into any kind of knowledge base. They were being ignored. They were all sitting usually in toe sacks in a closet in the back room. It's amazing. All right, uh, to the telephone and caller, you're live on the Kevin Smith Show. Your first name and from where are you calling? Uh, good evening, Kevin. This is Gary from New York. Hello, Gary. Good evening, James. Good evening, Gary. How are you, sir? I am fine. I have a very simple question. Do you know me? And if you do, how long have you known me? That's very ticklish. I, uh, where are you in New York? I am in the western New York area. And I'm sorry, you're breaking up. The phone lines are breaking up. Everything is... Uh, we can hear you just fine. Uh, we're not experiencing any breakup. Uh, okay, uh, so we're going to have to move along. James, do you have an answer? No, I, I, the, the men's voice sounds so familiar to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you, James. All right, Gary, thank you. Thank you. A uh, flash message from Kevin in Australia. He says, uh, hi, Kevin and James. Have you read author uh, Mac Tony's book, The Crypto Terrestrials? Uh, and do you think they can walk through dimensional gravity doors? I know about the book, but I have not read the book. Um what about uh, crypto terrestrials, uh, James? Uh, uh, for instance, um, on the Skinwalker Ranch, uh, it was observed that there was some sort of a energy vortex out of which stepped and into which stepped. They saw it come out of. They saw it go back into this vortex, uh, something that looks like what we describe as Bigfoot. Um, so what do you think? Can they walk through dimensional gravity doors? I, 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 I've experienced that sort of thing. I know that it, that it exists, and uh, the, the chupacabra is part of that. Well, are they dimensional gravity doors, or is it some other type of uh, doorway? portal no they're they're actual vortexes mm -hmm. and uh that's that's a problem when they energize these things uh time has been tampered with it creates rifts and these rifts are like pockets and things get caught in them mothmen mothmen are for somewhere else and they only partially manifest here by falling out of these rifts when they're being used and that's why when anywhere you, where you're around an area where there is a vortex being driven, they, this sort of thing happens. You see uh, critters from other places uh, that have a dimensional barrier between them and our reality, like mothmen. Mm -hmm. and, and mothmen are real interesting critters. 
All right, we uh, have to step away for a break. Maybe we'll talk about Mothman when we come back. That uh, sounds like something I, I would like to hear about. We're talking with James Horak, and we will take more of your calls on the other side of this break. But remember, we'll be on final approach, so get your fingers ready to do the dialing. We'll be back right after this. Thank you. 